out of my face, I said, Ugh. I know my family cares, but I'll be smoking even though there ain't a chance to repair. I'll be smoking even though I know the cancer was there, when I'll be smoking with my dope and blowing grams in the air. Hey guys, what up? Welcome back. But I'll stay safe out there. Gonna jump on this chat by Flos de Leon called TBM World. Thanks for being watching, requested, liking, commenting, doing all the good stuff. Don't forget to press subscribe, man. Let's jump onto it. I'm a strong and loyal body bag media. I like that. Hey Betsy, hey, Betsy, hey, Betsy, we miss you, brother. TBM World, we love you so much. TBM World forever. I went to jail, came home, but it's bittersweet. Cause my brother's not here like he's supposed to be. Nah. Rest in peace, bro. I really wish you didn't leave. It breaks my heart that you couldn't even come and visit me. I'm sorry that I got you caught up in my drama, lad. The day you got bail, I never see you after that anxiety at max. I think I'm about to have a heart attack. Tears up in my eyes every time I try and start a rap. I'm Yo, you know, I think Flo's. I think Flo's takes a lot of blame from himself. The things that have happened when he was locked up, when he weren't about. And I think it's something that he'll never forgive himself for, unfortunately. You know, and things that he had no control over. You know, he's talking about his brother that unfortunately passed on when, when he was locked up and he's saying, yo, you, you, I'm sorry if you get your caught up in my shit and, you know, you, you got locked up and you got bail and stuff. It, and he's fucking... He's taken a lot, lot of self blame for the fact that his his brother's now gone and there's nothing that he can do and he weren't there and he couldn't be there because he was locked up, which is sad. It's sad because I don't think he'll ever forgive himself. After that anxiety at max, I think I'm about to have a heart attack. Tears up in my eyes every time I try and start a rap. I'm going through old pictures and our videos just so I can see your smile. Honestly, it kills me, bro. The shit that you were going through, I swear I didn't know. I was up in prison, so you couldn't even ring my phone. I missed your funeral because I was in detention. The judge gave me five and you weren't there when I was sentenced. I wish you... That's stuff like that, man. Missed your funeral because I was up in detention. That's... That's... That's got... Off, that's got to hurt. That's... That's got to hurt, man, to, to know that you weren't able to be there for them when they were alive. And you weren't there to be at the funeral and mourn or celebrate the life at, at the time of burial. And this flows, flows for a big guy, you know, a big guy has such a big heart. And it, you look at him, you don't think that he... That you feel, you, you know, you look at some big guys, you think, ah, oh, no, feel fuck all his big hard lad, no feelings. I think Flo's is just somebody that's really full of regret for mistakes that he's made, and obviously, no, I haven't been able to speak to you, I haven't been able to, you weren't able to come see me, and weren't, weren't able to be there your day of the day of the funeral. Me five and you weren't there when I was sentenced. I wish you had have told me you were dealing with depression because the fan would have been there in a second. That's without a question. I love you, brother, and I miss you every single day. I miss your smile, miss your laugh, and I miss your face. I never got the chance, and bro, it kills me that I didn't say thanks for looking after Riven Khan when I got sent away. I speak to Rachel on the phone a couple times a week. I tell her, keep her head up, then I go and cry myself to sleep. I treat her like my Ooh. sister told her that she can rely on me. I know you're looking down on me, and bro, I hope you're Proud of me. Yo, that little bit there got me. That little bit there got me, man. Yo, I do say, yo, I speak to, I speak to her a couple of times a week, and then I tell her, yo, keep your head up. And then he goes and just fucking breaks down, man. Ah, sh <laughs> I feel, I feel like I shouldn't be doing this because this is something that's sacred that he's saying. He's saying, this is like his open letter to his brother that died, man. This is like his open letter. This is like an apology and 
a thank you and everything in between. I speak to Rachel on the phone a couple times a week. I tell her, keep her head up, then I go and cry myself to sleep. I treat her like my sister told her that she can rely on me. I know you're looking down on me, and bro, I hope you're proud of me. I light a candle every night and say a prayer for you. I hope that you can hear me. Wish you knew that I was there for you. It breaks my heart you felt alone. So many people cared for you. I miss you so much, brother. Tell me what I'm meant to do. All these lyrics that I'm writing, they don't ease the pain. The day you died, I knew that I would never be the same. I'm on parole, so I can't even go and see your grave. Rest in peace, my brother. Hopefully we get to meet again. I nah. I'm on parole, so I can't even go and see your grave. Yo, there must be some conditions to this parole, man. But I'm on parole. I'm, I'm, st I'm not even in jail anymore. I'm not even in detention anymore. And I still can't go to your funeral or where you were laid to rest. So I can't even go and see your grave Rest in peace my brother, hopefully we get to meet again I always thought that you'd be with me when I came home When we were kids we always used to share the same clothes 1-800-MUM, dad up off the payphone Sneaking through my window late at night so we could blaze cones We would always push the limits, we were up for days Back then I used to think that it was fun and games Taking drugs and alcohol to try and numb the pain SAL forever, we all miss you and we love you mate At your funeral just know your brother's character you and we don't want to let you go it's something that we have to do we're all trying to live our best lives bro and that's for you yeah. we've sober now and shaft's getting married soon i hope you're waiting yo i like that yo, the, the little reminiscing part and he's like yo at that time we just thought we're fun and games we said yo he didn't know that he suffered with depression or had depression hanging over him and the, and the drugs and alcohol at the time, might have been his coping mechanism, and you know, and, and Flo just didn't know it. That's why, if you're if you're going through some stuff, man, talk about it. Just let people know. Just let some person, somebody know, just one person, and try not to go through it by yourself. Just get him married soon. I hope you're waiting for me in the next life I'm trying to make the most of it Cause there won't be a next time I spent a few years inside Trying to get my head right For all the tears I never cried Now I get to shed mine I hate the fact I'll never get to see your face again I never even got to say goodbye When you got laid to rest I don't know what but something changed inside of me The day you left Looking back on all them years in jail Man it came and went I see the world different now It doesn't look the same I think about you every time I watch a footy game I sleep with you beside oh. me Got your photo in a wood and frame TBM forever you could never be replaced yeah TBM world forever rest in peace my brother uh, I'm, I'm trying to explain how I think of how I think he feels but there's there's not a there's not a chance that I can explain or try to there's there's no reaction here man this is this isn't a reaction video this is just somebody watching on it somebody or in the heart out. This is this is sad, man. This is the, this another sad thing is that flows were flows in just the person that lost him. You know, when you lose somebody, many, many, many members of families and people that know him, friends and relatives, all lose that one person, and it won't just be flows that feels like this. I know he's taking. He's taken a big chunk of his life, you know, because he feels that like he just weren't there. And he weren't there, unfortunately. But when people pass on, man. Damn. All right, guys, that's that one done. We are suffering from depression. I feel, feel a bit down. I need to talk to somebody. Talk to somebody. Talk to anybody. See you guys on the next one.